Here we are on the colony survival again, and I have re decided to revisit this giant maze. And one of the reasons I looked, is there a better way to actually structure this? So the first build test of the big giant red maze sort of went backwards and forwards, and these guys sort of meander their way on the way to the front, which in some cases actually leads to... Uh, these guys making into the second half of this big maze and I had opted for both matchlocks and Crossbow guys which target priority basically the highest thing they can one shot and I thought it's interesting because the crossbow guys only go to about this This level here. They only make it this far before they start shooting and there's actually a lot of potential where they could be shooting earlier now I could possibly move them that way a little bit, but it might mess up my thing. But it ends up means I end up with these extra guys here, and sometimes they even make it through into this back maze. And I'd actually like to get rid of this big, giant back maze. And I thought, well, I wonder what would happen if we actually changed the the pattern. Instead of going side to side, could we go back and forth so what would happen is instead of being outside the crossbow range for like five rows they would walk this way and be in range pretty pretty quick within the the first thing uh so like here so they would walk that way and then they would actually walk back the same way I thought, yeah, let's let's give that a shot today. Well, let's have a play around a little bit with maze patterns. We could possibly do a a meander pattern as well and see if that uh, takes effect, or maybe a few other things. But first of all, we probably want to get a few um, a few more guards into here because there will be a fresh bunch of zombies coming. And so usually when I build these things up, I put in a whole bunch of more guards. Um, just to sort of make everything work otherwise we end up getting eaten pretty badly by zombies so let's stick in a couple of match locks here stick in a couple of a uh, couple of match locks don't worry they don't shoot each other they know to they know to duck when they need to and okay so that leaves basically filling in this entire pen so all I'm gonna do for this is I'm gonna get um, construction build and red and we are going to build red from there Ooh, we need to get over to the other side somehow all the way let's go let's go let's go run over to the other side and we'll build red over to here we'll fill it all in and then we'll actually what we'll do is we'll just take out see see he's got too far through in fact, a few of them have got too far through. I'll put the construction jobs here. I'm sure that won't be um, too dangerous. And fill all that in quickly. Unfortunately, they won't start building until the following day. Because it's night time now. They've all gone to bed. Let's have a look. Jump over here. And yeah, so we still get a few leap through. <laughs> He's trying to path follow to me kind of thing. Um... These eventually do get wiped out by the guards. There's sort of just enough time to wipe out all the dudes. All the dudes. And those construction boys can't get through. They're actually all going to bed. All of them. They're all going to go to bed. So we're going to have to cut until tomorrow. Otherwise, uh, there's not actually much building. I'm going to fill that in. Oh! oh, there's a zombie in here. There's a zombie. Where is he going? Come here, come here, come on. Let's no, no eating. Cool. All right, let's let's carry on. So work continues uh, another day, and these guys are going to fill in the maze, and then we're going to carve out the the new maze. I'm going to try and keep the same amount of guards in the stack here, which are our twenty guards, our uh, 10, 10 day, ten nights, which breaks down to sort of five night matchlocks five night crossbowmen five day crossbowmen and five day matchlocks so i'm going to try and keep that same level and what we're trying to get here is reduce the size of this maze by changing the uh changing the 
the pattern. So if I can make the maze smaller just by changing the pattern, then I'll be happy. It might be that we need to change our little dudes out a little bit and get a bit of hands. We've got our temporary guards up there. Now they should be filling this out pretty dosh dang gum quick. Uh, how are they going? It seems pretty quick. Pretty quick. I wonder if we can put in a couple more guys in here. Uh, let's let's see if we can fill this out just a little bit more. And boom. And they should fill this out pretty quick. We'll put in one of those there so I don't have to go so far. Uh, can we stick in any more? Let's, let's put one here. Oops, I'm going to need one of them or a stack of them there there we go because the constructors need to come and pick up more blocks boom oh they're filling that in nicely now i can't start carving out the new niche it's actually sort of a big red plank area and oh oh oh! i've missed the end part we actually need that filled in because that's going to be the oh far end of the maze i've fallen I've fallen and I I can get up. There we go. Okay, fill that in. And there we go. So that's sort of where the zombies enter. How are we going? Come on, guys. Oh, we've run out of red bricks. Oh, that's because I've got them all. My bad. My bad. Sorry. Sorry, boys. There you go. Finish the job. And they will finish that out. Beautifully. Beautifully. And they are done. They are done. Right. Okay, so now all we need to do is dig out the areas we don't want, which is going to be uh, construct digger area. And we'll dig that out to there, and we will construct dig that area out to there. So it's got, it'll neander around that way. Let's put in a couple of construction jobs and get these guys actually started on their job. There we go, and dig out. So this is quite a nice way to just sort of dig out patterns very quick. Oh, we've still got another zombie coming, and that's that's going to be a little bit of a bit of a problem, I think. Oops. Hang on. Nah, uh, can we take him out? Hello. Oh, he's got lots of health. Oh, missed. And boom, he's down. He's down, folks. He's down. Uh, so this will be this is the pattern which we're we're talking about. Out come some more dudes. Construction, uh, dig, and so don't worry. I'm not going to do all these right now, but I'll just do enough just to give you an idea, and then I will. Uh, oops, missed that one. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. Sometimes that happens. Ooh, uh, that block there needs to go. There we go. And look, they carved that out pretty dosh, dosh, gan, dang, gum quick. And digger, and hey, wait, I clicked on it. Construction, digger, boom. We've got that going all the way here. So, yeah, I'm wondering if this pattern will prove better because it will actually bring in the zombies uh, much, much closer into the area. So I'll, I'll carry on, I'll get that built out, and then we'll come back and we'll do some testing to see if that's more effective than the back and forward that we had before. So the backward and forward maze is complete, and I don't actually know if it's any better than the side to side maze. It does work out to be slightly, take up slightly bigger footprint than the side to side maze, which is that one there, but I'm still getting a couple of dudes actually getting through. In fact, in some cases, I think this maze is not quite as good as the side-to-side -side maze, uh, which sort of leaves me a little bit perplexed as to why that would actually be, given that uh, the zombies are in range of our um, crossbow boys a little bit faster and gun guys uh, for, for a little bit longer. So... Yeah, I'm not really. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm a little confused with that. So it sort of works out about the same. But anyway, I've got a couple more patterns we could possibly try out. The next one I thought was maybe if we did a little 
a little bit of a wiggle one, a little bit like this, and had them going backwards and forwards. And the reason I thought that could be interesting is I wonder if they actually lose any movement speed when they turn corners. Doesn't look like they do, but it's something I would like to test anyway. And probably the other one I will test is a bit more of a wider version of that to see if we get so yeah um let me clear out these zombies and i will see if i can get this backwards and forwards maze and we'll see if it makes any actual difference but at this stage i'm somewhat skeptical well i've got the zigzaggy approach back in and it looks so cool this looks really really cool a bunch of zombies zigging and zagging backwards and forwards it's a bit like a zombie disco rave down there and I'm actually really happy with how cool it looks, but uh, it didn't really make any difference. Uh, no, it didn't make any difference at all. The zombies are still getting through into this second maze, just like they did in the first and second example, and there's not really any difference. They, they go through these corner sections just as fast as they would go through a straight section, which is a little bit of a shame, really, because I thought that would be quite a neat mechanic if they slowed down a bit to go around corners. But they're very much stuck on uh, sort of a fixed walkway, much like the villagers are doing as well. So, yeah, I don't hold much ho hope for the final pattern, which will be a sort of... a uh, a wider version of this, sort of a mix of all three really. Uh, I'm going to divide this into three, maybe four columns, and they'll they'll cut, they'll go side to side, they'll come forward, they'll go side to side, head back, side to side, come forward. But yeah, it's uh, it hasn't really made much difference. In fact, these guys almost get to the end before the next batch come in. So well, let's let's give this last last ditch effort to see if we can actually curb the zombies but will it make a difference nope no difference uh pretty much we've changed i've rechanged the maze configuration into the slightly longer ziggy zag approach and I still get zombies coming into into the second size of the maze i've run it a few iterations and it looks pretty much the same as before no discernible Real difference. And I've gone back, I've had a look at the footage of some of the other mazes, and pretty much, yeah, it's it's the same. Which kind of makes sense, because it's the same amount of blocks roughly used each time. The zombies move uh, at a fairly consistent speed, although there is some variations. I've noticed after spending many hours watching a lot of zombies, that some of them move faster than others. But overall, if the horde spawns at the same size and they all move the same speed, or the speed breakup is the same, yeah, it's pretty much the same each and every time. So let's terminate this failed experiment, which is a little bit of a shame that it didn't uh, didn't work as such. And I think we're done here. So I'm just going to think of a better way to shrink this maze. Maybe something to do with maze stacking. So. I'll catch you, I guess, in another session when I figure out a better way to optimize the system. Goodbye from me, and I'll see you later.